Hello, Libra viewers. I'm sorry I've been off for so long, but I am back now. As always, if you want a private reading, just send me an email from the description. It's right in the description box below this video. All right, let's get into it. As always, donations are appreciated too. That information is also right below in the description box. Procrastination, take off your mask. Phoenix rising. Mm. So it's time, I'm getting a couple of different messages. It's time to be authentic. Now, either this is you or this is your person, like you're being led. Some of you have just been like trying to think positive, trying to think positive, trying to think positive. And you're being led to like actually just be honest about how you feel, to really be more in touch with your emotions. Some of you have like shadow work that needs to be done, like you have healing and things that need to come up. Um, so I feel like someone's been procrastinating. For others, I also feel like, I think there's a couple different messages. Like for a lot of you, this is about you. Like this is about you getting on your path. But it's also about a person, I feel like, that... Either you've been procrastinating with like asking them out or they've been procrastinating asking you out or like you guys, maybe if you're already in a connection, it's like you're procrastinating about like telling each other how you feel. It's like there's some kind of energy of like procrastination, like stagnation. And I think that you know what this stagnation is. It's like someone's going in circles, it feels like. And now you're being guided to take off your mask, to be real, to be honest, to be authentic. And this is, I think this is about like a connection too, just about being honest. And this could also be someone where it's like, maybe it's someone that you're in love with and like you feel like it's probably over. Like you feel like it's like a karmic cycle, but like deep down you keep wondering like, what if this person comes back? Like maybe it's been like months since you guys have talked. Um, and like deep down, you're like wondering like, what if this person comes back someday or what if, you know, like you're still holding on to that and it might be keeping you stagnant. So for some, I feel like it's just time to like, like have a conversation just so you can get it out there. Even if the answer is no, even if they tell you they don't want you, like at least you have that closure, at least you have that answer so that they're not keeping your life on hold anymore or maybe you just want to write it down maybe you don't want to message them maybe you just want to write it down and burn the paper or something you know it's like something it's something that's been kind of holding you back for others though and take it has how it resonates too it could be multiple things too it could also be that like you have new people in your life but you've been holding on to like the old energies and so Maybe there's someone new that you're falling for, interested in, but it's like you're still holding on to a little bit of hope that this person from the past will get it together and come back. And it's kind of saying like clear your energy, whether you end up with this old person or this new person, it's kind of time to just not let yourself be stagnant with it anymore. But like I said, for those of you in a connection, this could also just be someone where it's like you guys kind of need to talk about your feelings. Like there's just been something. And like I said, it's going to be different for everybody, but you guys know what this is. It's something that's been like there's like procrastination, something holding you back or holding them back or both some kind of stagnation where it's like time to be honest and take off the mask. You know, it's time to, some of you are like just so afraid of being rejected. You're like, oh my God, like what if, you know, because this could be a new person too. This could be like someone that you have your eye on, but you're like, oh my God, like if I ask them for their phone number and they say no, or if I, if you know, you guys are hanging out and you try to like take it to the next level and they say no, like it's like something, there's something that someone wants to say. I don't know if like this is you or this is like your person, but it's like something something wants to come up. Like there's something that like, so there's something that's being like unspoken. Like there's some kind of like unspoken truth here and it could even be mutual energy. Like maybe you guys are both wanting to like express love or express some kind of emotion or take it to the next level. This could even be a friendship where it's like, you guys might be like best friends or really close friends and you both have feelings for each other and it's kind of obvious, but you're both afraid that like, if you say something that it's um, going to ruin the friendship, you know, and it's saying that you need to be vulnerable um, 
it's going to end up good either way. Like either this person, even if this person does say no, even if, even if you don't get the answer you want, you're ultimately actually going to feel good about it. I know that sounds weird, but it's like in the moment you're going to be upset, but then you're going to look back later on and you're going to be like, like, like you're going to be like, wow, that was like a karmic situation. I'm glad I didn't end up with that person. That person was kind of a coward. That person was not on my level. I'm really glad that I, that I, said what I needed to say and I moved on from that finally. Or you're going to speak your truth and, um, you know, this person's going to reciprocate and it's actually going to be a good thing. But either way, I feel like for this energy group, if this is your story, either way, I feel like you're going to be, be happy in the long run that you spoke your truth, that you took off the mask. I hope that makes sense. Cause it's like, if it does, if it, like, if it doesn't go the way you want it to go, I think that you're going to look back on it. And I think you're going to be like happy that that happened. Cause you're going to be in your power, like Phoenix rising. You're going to be like letting it go. You're going to be coming into your power, into your confidence. Things are going to be finally like, I'm saying like the chariot card, um, like the tower, the chariot, like moving on from like the devil card actually. And it just feels like, like, yeah, you're going to be like in your confidence, in your power. Like you're going to be, you're going to you know, be thankful that you didn't end up with that person. You're going to feel like your energy is finally cleared up. Like you finally have an answer. You finally have some kind of closure. Um, so I feel like it's going to be good either way. Whatever answer you get, it's going to be, it's going to ultimately make you happy in the long run either way. It's going to clear up the energy for new people to come in if this is not your person. But there's different stories here. I'm getting like for this energy group, some of you, this is a karmic. For others, this is actually like a soulmate or twin flame. But either way, you got to get out of this stagnant energy. Like someone's, you guys, you or this person or both of you have been in this procrastination energy for too long and it's time to, it's time to take that next step forward. And you can... Like if this is like for, for those of you that this is, you know, take it as it resonates. Like I said, there's a few different stories here, but for those of you that this is like a friend or something and you guys have been friends so long and you're like, oh my God, like what if I do that and they don't reciprocate? But like you kind of feel like you can read their body language. Like you can tell that there's feelings there on both ends. Like it's obvious, but it's like you guys are both so afraid and you can feel this. This wouldn't be something that you like have a lot of doubt about. Like this wouldn't be someone that's like super distant with you and like gets weird if you try to cuddle with them. No, this would be someone who's like, like you can tell like, I'm seeing like a guy, I'm seeing like almost like a boy next door type. Like really like, I don't want to say he has like dirty blonde hair. He's very, um, like very, very charming, very sweet. I'm seeing him like look at a girl in a certain, like he, like he has like this sparkle in his eyes. Like I see them like sitting on the floor. They might be like playing a board game or like doing something. What are they doing on the floor? I don't, I don't fucking know. <laughs> this could be someone that you knew from high school. Cause like, he looks like he's like younger here. Um, but anyway, this is just for someone specific, but it's, it's almost like, like you see that sparkle in his eyes. And like, when he catches you seeing that, like he like turns away, he's like, Oh God, like, Oh, she caught me. Like you can tell, like you can feel that energy. You can look in his eyes. You can feel that body language, you know, this, I don't want to mislead anyone. Like if you're, if you're friends with someone and like, they're super distant, like, no, don't go for it. This is someone like where you, you've, you can feel it. Like you can, you know, deep down, but there's just that fear. Like, Oh my God, we've been friends for so, so long. Like, or we were so, we have such a close friendship. Like I can't risk losing this. So like, take like a baby step, you know, like take, um, cause you guys are both like matching each other's fear. You're both feeding off each other's fear. So it's kind of like, I think someone just needs to do something. <laughs> One of you, it's a really cute love story though. Like it's really, it's really cute. I get like a very innocent energy to that, to whoever that's for. And I'll get back to the rest of the reading. Cause like I said, it's for someone specific. I know that's not going to resonate with most of you, but yeah, take a baby step. Like just, I don't know, just be like a little cuddly, like do something. If you're afraid that, you know, if you're afraid of saying too much, like you can always just take that little step and then see if they match your energy and then take and make sure, because you know, sometimes people are like oblivious, like they don't know that you're trying to flirt. Like, so make sure they understand what you're doing, but it's like, just, just take that little first step and you can always like fall back and be like, Oh no, I didn't like mean it like as anything more than a friend. Like if you need to, you know, if they're like, Oh, I don't, if you like try to initiate cuddling, for example, and they're like, Oh, like, I don't want to do that with you. I don't see you like that. You can always be like, Oh, I just wanted to cuddle. Like I didn't, I didn't mean it like that. You know what I mean? Like you can always brush it off and go back to, to square one if you need to, if you have to do that. 
you know? Um, so I'm like, there's ways around it. There's ways to kind of get the ball rolling finally without like diving in and confessing your undying love for this person, you know, like find that middle ground to like kind of get things, things moving here. You know, it's time, whatever this is, it's time to take off your mask. Home. Say what you mean. Yeah, like this person feels like you're their home and you feel the same way about them. And it's like, I almost feel like you're out of touch with like your, not out of, I don't want to say out of touch with your soul, but it's like you're out of touch with yourself because there's so much like pent up energy where it might be causing and take it as, you know, maybe, maybe this is them too. But it's like someone here is having anxiety because there's all this pent up energy, like all the things that just haven't been said. I feel like I keep hearing like someone wants to come home too, like someone wants to come back home, but they're not saying it. This could be like, this could also be someone that like, like you guys are still married and they like ran out, but they want to come back home. They realize the grass was like greener on the other side, but they're afraid to say it. And this energy, this is like, I keep getting this reverse. I don't even mean to, but it keeps confirming that this energy is like in the physical. Like this is like, like this is like something that needs to happen physically. It's not just like, you guys have been like dreaming and manifesting telepathically, but it's like time to say something. It's time for, what can I call the same card again? It's time for like physical movement, family and tribe. Temptation. Yeah, it's like someone has like sexual feelings for someone that's like part of their like their like sexual feelings or romantic feelings for someone that like they're afraid looks at them like a brother or sister or like just like family or friend or something. Like not literal family, but like you know what I mean, like they're afraid that like they like they're not seen that way. Pay attention to the sign, like pay attention to this person's mannerisms. Pay attention to what they're trying to tell you here. Could be something from like your childhood or theirs that leads to sadness where it's like don't self-sabotage because of what you've been through this could also be something where it's like maybe they didn't see you that way in the past like years and years ago for those of you that have been with this per like know this person for a long time like maybe there's like a history of rejection but it's like now you know you guys are older things have changed how teachable are you are you guys ready to step out of your comfort zone so that is what i have for you guys i hope that resonates um any donations are appreciated. My donation link is right below in the description box. And my email is below if you want a reading. So thank you guys for watching. And please subscribe too if it resonates.